they're going to tell us the story of that vacation through a series of slide photographs, like it's 1992. Can the three? Where's Aaron? Andrew? Andrew, come on up. Uh, while we figure out who everybody's name is, can somebody give me the? Uh, can somebody give me a relationship? So a relationship is like brother and sister, boss and employee. Dog walker. Andrew. Best friends? Best friends. That's fine. Who's that? I lost my mind. Uh, your best friends. Okay. Your best friends. Can the three of you strike a pose for me? Strike a pose. Now, wrong answers only. Where are they? Yemen. <laughs> politics today. <laughs> <laughs> Egypt. The beach. Disneyland. I heard the beach. <laughs> what could happen at the beach? I don't know. Uh, so you guys are going to, of course, tell us the story of when the two best friends went on vacation to the beach. Uh, and you're going to say the word click anytime you want to see another picture. You're going to do it in a series of five slides at first. Can everybody give them a round <laughs> So I made this wonderful slideshow for us today. I took some beautiful photos of, of, of us while we were traveling. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to share my top five picks with you and see what you thought of them. And, yeah. Well, you know, to be honest, like, I'm having a hard time, like, seeing these picks again, because it was really disappointing that time that you took me to the beach. Like, I <laughs> <laughs> I was looking for you over that. Uh, like, I know the beach was a little bit hard on us. Like, we were there, and there were just these random dancing people there. They really just dampened our day. It was really annoying. But I thought that the slideshow would maybe cheer you up a little bit, make you look at it on a bright side. Well, like, why didn't you protect me from that weird zombie guy? <laughs> I was distracted, I had a bubble launch, and I was just, you know, waving it around. I like the bubbles. <laughs> I wish I'd brought this up earlier, but I kind of feel like you took those bubbles away from us. No! <laughs> they were bubbles. <laughs> Much more important. I'm sorry that my bubbles were more exciting than you getting attacked by dancers. But let's just go move on. Click. <laughs> you literally, even once I was attacked and you weren't playing with bubbles anymore, you like put your head in the sand. Well, I heard that that's how ostriches avoid conflict. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe it would work for me too. Got a lot of sand in my ears, so. though. When are you going to stop this whole thing of identifying as ostriches? <laughs> Look, I had one egg. I think that is basically an ostrich egg. I, 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 laying eggs is not a normal thing, but I can do it. <laughs> David, I just, I feel like if you're going to keep laying these eggs, at least you could have given me one on my birthday. Ooh. It was dry season. <laughs> myself. I thought that, you know, avoiding avoiding you at the beach, just burying my head in the sand would have kept us, you know, better friends. I forgot about the bear attack. <laughs>
all of that stuff. I may have called it. <laughs> you called the bears? <laughs> I may have made a little bear call. <laughs> that was so uncalled for. You, <laughs> you are directly involved in that poor man's death. He was just minding his business, just popping my bubbles that I was blowing, and then all of a sudden the bear comes out of nowhere and just starts attacking. I don't know what you were so stunned about, though. I mean, you totally deserved what was coming to you. <laughs> I may not be the perfect friend, but attacking an ostrich with a bear is just uncalled for. <laughs> <laughs> this was a good idea on your part, actually. You Playing leapfrog to get away from the bear. <laughs> you know, David, now that I think about it, I think this is a lot of your slow times. It was a pretty creative solution, after all. I and in the meantime, I, I mean, I, I was keeping it up. Right? Well, I appreciate that, but I do still know that you took one of them. Why would you not tell me that you took one of my eggs? I counted them, and I was missing one. You, I appreciate that, but you need to talk to me and my accountant first because when I was, when I was stockpiling my eggs, my accountant was just slamming his head against the wall. He was just so <laughs> I sell those eggs. I make a living off of them. Yeah, mind you, I, I, I did. I, I spotted your accountant. I mean, he was at the beach that day, and uh, I, I did see him slamming his head against the wall, like you said. Um, I, I should have mentioned it, but um, I, I mean, I was just trying to do something nice. That's fair. <laughs> I forgot. The bear ended up having a crazy, evil, scientific look to him. <laughs> Sure, it wasn't a mad scientist that you turned into a bear. Well, who could have known that it was an AI created bear that was actually an ostrich bear? Because he was out of <laughs> the eggs. I forgot about that. He was the one that was scavenging my eggs. That was why I had a dry season. I must have been. <laughs> I must have been laying the eggs, and then that mad scientist AI robot bear. It was just like <laughs> out of my nest. That makes so much sense. <laughs> Let's give them a round of applause. And they're going to show you the upstairs and downstairs version of what a character might look like. You'll understand once they get playing with that. So let's go for a, a location, another non-specific or non-geographic location. Work. So work. Oh, I like that. Uh, can can I get any healing? Oh, how about? Did you did you hear one that you left? I heard no. I heard a lot. You heard a lot. Let's go with exuberance, hey? Uh, very fitting with the the theme of the the show today. Uh, and one more thing, a relationship. Strange lovers. A relationship between two people, thank We're you. Strange lovers. Estranged lovers. Estranged lovers. <laughs> now, estranged lovers, exuberance, and work. Take a second to think that over. Uh, upstairs and downstairs is basically just two different states that you can be in. I'm going to be shouting at them for the entire scene um, to give you a better idea of what it's like being in a classroom. So uh, now's a good time to give them a round of applause. <laughs> Thing for 
for an ex-lover to say, but you know, hey, I, I understand we're trying to keep it professional. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know it's my secret fetish, you know that. Downstairs. <laughs> it's a disgusting fetish. <laughs> <laughs> that is one word for it, yes? Yeah, I hate myself for it. You probably should. <laughs> I go to counseling every day. Thank up for that. Yeah. Uh, Upstairs. But it helps out with my attitude a lot. I'm really, really glad that you're actually going to counseling because that is so good for your, profession, your personal development and your professional development. You're going to be such a better worker. <laughs> <laughs> a raise from the boss? Downstairs. Screw him! <laughs> you are never getting a raise, are you kidding me? Because I slept with his wife. Well, that would be part of it, yes. And Upstairs. But she was having me. She she was sick, so I had to. <laughs> she had cats, you so screw her. of this scene. Uh, could I get uh, a location again, please? Bus stop. Uh, bus stop. I love a bus stop. Uh, if you were to think about maybe the dumbest person you know, oh, yeah. what kind of problem would they have at a bus stop? Can't get into the bus stop. Can't get out of the bus stop. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. So, uh, Aaron and Andres, they are going to have the problem of can't get out of the bus stop that Rin is going to solve with a unconventional superpower. Uh, give them a round of applause. <laughs> Bus is sure taking long, huh? It sure is. When it gets here, I just realized, I don't know, how do we get out of here? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like, what bus are we taking to? Like, Abbotsford? Maybe. It's really it's, sad over here, you know? It, it's pretty far. Yeah. I don't know, man. I don't want to go to Abbotsford. It's really not that. I don't know, man. <laughs> it's a little scary there. Yeah, we got to figure out how to get out of this bus stop, man. We've been stuck here for two hours. Yeah, it'd be nice if we could figure out how to get out. But also, the bus showed up. Maybe if we had, like, I don't know, a superhero to come and help us out? Like, who would help us then? I don't know, maybe the mayor of Edmonton? Oh my god! Greetings, it is I, the mayor of Edmonton. <laughs> Why do you call him? <laughs> I just thought that Mr. Sony could figure it out. <laughs> He's the mayor of Edmonton! You designed this, right? You're right, and I'll undesign it. <laughs> I'll simply uh, demolish this bus stop specifically, and then rebuild it right after. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 